Hi, and welcome back to Sense and Sensitivity. I feel like it's been such a long time because it kind of has been. I've got my baby here, almost 10 months. Um, but life keeps going on. And uh, yeah, I've been hoarding empties for a while, so I'm really excited to do my first empties, which is probably not as many things as a lot of empties you'll see on YouTube, because I try to keep it pretty streamlined, and with the rosacea, we can't be trying too many things. Um, but this is kind of what I've collected more or less since July. So about 10 months worth of stuff. Um, it's going to be dental, body, and um, skin care, and no hair care. So I'm just going to kind of go through it. So just off the bat, dental. I already finished a bottle of David's toothpaste. I like that one a lot. I accidentally already recycled it. Um, I like that one a lot. And then I tried this after it. I got it at Target. It's called Hello Anti-Plaque and Whitening. And I was pleasantly surprised. I really, really like this. It's like half the price of the David's. Um, I'm almost done with it. And yeah, I was really surprised how much I liked it. I think it does a good job. I like the flavor. So I'll probably get this again because it's like four bucks. Um, hello. I like it. I think they sell it at Whole Foods too. Body, this I've talked about before, but I just use the same um, lotions as my son. So I have the Babo Sensitive Baby and the Pipette Baby Lotion, both fragrance free. This is a much thinner formula and this is much thicker and I like both. This one's a little bit hard to rub in, um, but it's good like after you shave your legs or something like that or if it's extra dry. Yeah, so that's my body care. I like those a lot. I have an empty super sized bottle of Aven Thermo Water. Y'all know I love this stuff. I already have another one going. It's just so good to keep around, and especially with warmer weather coming our way. All right, now let's get into my bag. This is just a plastic Ulta bag. My bag of stuff. Okay, deodorant. Empty Cosas Sport Deodorant. This was the scented one in the green tube. I didn't like it as much oops, as unscented, which I already have a replacement of I'm using, but I really, really like this. I like that it leaves no whiteness because it's a liquid, but it dries really fast because um, I don't like when the rollers stay wet for a long time. So I really like the Cosas deodorant. I think it works really well for my body chemistry, no irritation, and yeah, it's great. I've been using it for a couple years now. Okay, what's next? I tried, I'm gonna do cleansers. So, I finished my Blissoma free herbal gel cleanser and makeup remover. I really, really liked this. I did a whole Blissoma review, but it's the gentlest kind of gel foaming cleanser I've ever used. No essential oils, it has just a natural light kind of raspberry scent from the herbal water infusions. Um, I think, you know, if you're wearing non-waterproof sunscreen, this can get it off really well. If you're doing lots of foundation or anything long wearing, I don't think it would be enough. Um, yeah, it ended up becoming a bit too drying for me as we got into the colder, drier winter yeah. indoor heating yeah. season. Um, but if I was somewhere if I had a bit more oily prone skin or I was somewhere that was more hot and humid, I think this would be a really, really good choice, Blissoma. I liked it a lot, but not currently using it and haven't. don't plan to repurchase it until I see how the summer weather goes here. So I tried to replace it with this MD Solar Sciences Wash Away One Step Cleanser because this calls itself... <gasps> a sulfate-free, low-foam oil mm -hmm. cleanser. So I thought, oh, that's kind of cool, and maybe it'll be like my Marie Veronique. And it was on sale for 10 bucks at Target, um, but it's, and it even says right here, for all skin types, including acne, rosacea prone, and sensitive skin. Way, way, way too drying for me. So, um, MD Solar Sciences, I like their sunblock, but this face wash was a no-go. 
it has now gone to my husband who likes foaming cleansers. I finished up the Blissoma Pure. I've used actually two of these since July. Um, I really, really like it. Medium weight. Again, no essential oils or added fragrance. Has a light sort of like honey wheat smell just from the ingredients. Um, I love this during pregnancy and in the summer and into fall. It became not enough uh, in the winter time. I just had started to struggle quite a lot with dry skin and irritation. Um, so I think this is a great moisturizer, very soothing and calming if you want to go the more natural organic route and you have just kind of normal skin type or you live somewhere that's not super dry. I like the Blasoma. So I have since replaced it with Vanacream Daily Facial Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. I really, I wanted to try this for a while now. Um, I can't speak to it yet because I just got it. Um, what I can say is that it's like a light, more gel cream texture. Um, yeah, good, simple ingredients. I'm excited to test it out, so I'll let you know more about this in the future. I finished my Blissoma Clear Condition Facial Oil. This is the green oil, no essential oils, and it has hemp seed oil. It smells kind of like cucumber because there's cucumber seed oil in it. Again, in-depth review um, of Blissoma products in another video. I also loved this and I loved pairing it with the cream, but when it got really cold and dry here, even those two together weren't enough for me. So. That's kind of a bummer, like if I'm layering a cream and an oil and it's not enough, then yeah. I know like the ingredient profile is just not working out for me at that time. So I love the two together when I was pregnant, in the summer and into fall. I think this is a really good oil at a decent price point, especially because they do a 30% off sale in the summer. Um, and so I replaced that with 100% pure argan oil, which is a, is a thicker oil, and even still the combination of the cream and argan oil wasn't enough for me in the winter, So, but I love argan oil as you probably know if you've seen my other videos, so I use this on my skin, my hair, um, so it's just good to have around. I'm pleasantly surprised by the 100% pure brand. I had never used it before. Um, and I've tried quite a few argan oils, so I really like this one. I liked it a lot. And it's 1.5 ounces for, I think, $36, plus I got 20% off, so not a bad price um, for organic argan oil. All right, sunblock. So I am just about done with my Skin Medica Essential Defense Mineral Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 32 Sunscreen Post-Procedure and Sensitive Skin tinted. I've talked about this before. I really like it. It has lots of silicones in it. It has a really, um, so it has lots of silicones, but it's a moisturizing formula, whereas some heavy silicone formulas are more like foamy uh, or moussey and matte, which I also like. Um, this one is moisturizing, so I really, really liked this. The tint is, I would say, neutral, which I prefer because a lot of times I feel like the SPS with just a single tint are orangey, and that does not work for my skin and my undertones. So non-offensive tint, no scent, moisturizing, but sinks in well. Uh, really, really liked the Skin Medica. I got it at Derm Store. I have replaced it with Ilya. Now, I talked about this and said I didn't like it because <laughs> I got a sample and I didn't like it. But I was searching. I've been wanting to do an experiment on silicone-free skincare. This was like the only tinted, all-mineral, silicone-free SPF I could find. And so I thought, well, let's just give it a try, even though I wasn't sure about um, the sample I had tried. The color is a perfect match, so in that respect, it's the best SPF I've ever tried because it's still kind of like that sheer coverage that I want, but it actually matches my skin tone, so there's no like demarcation of orange or anything like that. Silicone-free SPF, I want to say 40. Um, it has a little bit of a scent. Not that it's added, it's just from the ingredients, but I do find that it dissipates. So here's the big thing that has... 
turned me into a believer, basically. I read the instructions. The instructions say, put this on clean skin. So when I tested the sample, I had done a skincare routine of moisturizing and stuff ahead of time. And this felt very heavy and oily on top. Well, I read the instructions, which say clean, washed skin. So I've been doing that. And just clean skin in the morning. Either I just rinse with water or I wash my face. Sorry, my baby is getting real excited with this Ulta bag. Um, and that's made all the difference. That it goes on great. And it doesn't feel heavy at all and or oily. And it, it dries and sinks in really, really nicely. So And it has niacinamide which I used to not be able to use. But I think I've worked on my skin barrier enough and probably the percentage is low enough that it's not irritating me. So I don't know what's happened, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I honestly think this is improving my skin. Since I've been using it, I'm seeing like when I wash my face at the end of the day, it looks very calm. Um, so I'm very, very happy with this. It's pricey, but it's the only product I've found where the SPF tint is perfect the coverage I want and now that I know how to use it properly the feel is great so this isn't empty yet but I just wanted to show you what I was replacing the Skin Medica with and I'm loving this and I am the shade Diaz which is ST7 given how light my skin is I was very surprised I had to go this dark um, but it really is the right shade for me so I'm loving that I'm wearing it today that's all I'm wearing oh another oil Andy Lee Squalane love this stuff so this and Argon are like my staples. They always work for my skin. You can put them on your scalp and your hair, use them on the baby, add them to lotion to make it richer. They're just great. This is like a bit lighter and the Argon is heavier. So that, and you know, of course they have different benefits, but they both have a lot of similar benefits too and just being moisturizing, make your skin supple, healing, um, antioxidants naturally found in them. So, yeah, I like the Indie Lee Squalling Oil. I've been using it on and off for probably like seven or eight years. This was like the first clean beauty brand I that was like a little more fancy than just buying stuff at Sprouts or Whole Foods that I ever tried back in my 20s. Um, and I fell in love, and I kind of went on my journey from there. So I really like the Squalling Oil. And this bottle, I'm going to keep this because this is great for travel. Okay, the other thing, this is just makeup. This is the Boy Brow in brown. I had a gift card to Glossier. I'm not a Glossier fan, really. Um, I don't know. They just, I don't think their products suit what I need, and their marketing is, this doesn't speak to me. But this is an okay product. I think it's pretty kind of heavy on the brow, so... I do like very, very light coat and I brush it through with a, just a brow brush. Um, if I put like, if I brush them back and then yeah. brush them forward with this, they feel like sticky and heavy and I don't like that. So I would not repurchase this, but it's doing the job for now. I do like to brush my brows. Um, that's like the one makeup thing besides tinted SPF that I, I really like to do most days. So I think I will try maybe Ilya next. Um, I also love the um, Wow Brow. It's by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's $4 at CVS. That's the one I usually use. But I, do, I have a gift card right now, so I might splurge when this is done and get the Ilya, which is probably way too expensive for normal use. Wow Brow by e.l.f. is really good and light and doesn't add much tint so I have pretty thick brows that's what works for me if you need more tint and coloring and, and hold and you're penciling them in and lots of stuff you might like boy brow or something like this that's more of a pomade and thicker formula more um, all right I lied about hair <laughs> I have minis of the Rawa voluminous shampoo and conditioner so I've been struggling postpartum with lots of hair loss. Um, and then I got a terrible haircut, which made me so sad. Um, so I was trying to find a new shampoo to help 
volumize and you know perk it up a little bit these I found to be so first of all the scent is lavender eucalyptus I didn't find it offensive um, but it's not my favorite scent and I was a little concerned because I typically do go for unscented the only scented shampoo that really works for me is the inner scents that one never bothers me um, but these dried out my scalp and then I got an irritation, I think, from the fragrance. Every time I would use it, I would get a big patchy rash on my forehead. It would go away after about half an hour or so. But when I um, went back to my unscented shampoo, I didn't get that anymore. So something in that just doesn't, you know, the ingredients don't work right for me and my sensitivities. So unfortunately can't recommend the Rawa for hypersensitive people. Is there anything else? I'd say the last thing in this bag is Kristen S. Mini French Pins. Uh, I learned about these, so with my hair issues and terrible haircut, <laughs> I started doing research and really learning about caring for my hair, which is the next stage for me. Like, I've been learning about skin care, and now I'm learning about hair care. So one of the things to protect really fragile, fine hair like I have that I read was recommended was using um, claws like I have here and French pins so you're not um, keeping the hair too twisted too tight like in rubber ponytails and stuff like that so now that my hair is getting a bit longer I'm able to use these and I really like them so this is from Target uh, for buns, top knots, and updos Lightweight, comfortable, prevents creases and breakage. So I really, really like this. This claw, which is from J. Crew, is my new like obsession. It's so good. I don't know how it would fare in thick hair, but for my fine, thin hair, it keeps it all up all day. I love it. All right, mister. And then I'll say with that, this argan oil, one of the other things I've been learning with hair care is to oil the ends. Um, which I'd never done before and like let that sit overnight so I'm using the argan oil for that quite a bit too all right I know it's a little hectic and chaotic over here but I've been missing making my videos I have so much more content I want to put out it's just tough being a full-time mommy to an almost toddler who's moving around a lot so thank you so much for watching comment below um, I'll be back with more content, updated skincare routine of what I, what got me through the winter. And, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.